Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you a first look at some pretty cool stuff. Just got this in the mail from American Defense Manufacturing as well as this guy right here from Bushnell. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put together and we'll take it out. We'll go ahead and start with this guy right here, which is a bunch of packaging. Actually, pretty awesome rifle. Still in the packaging. There's our little receiver. Got our upper and looks like all our extras. Well, a lot of people are familiar with American Defense Manufacturing for their mounts. What a lot of people don't know is that they actually make full-blown rifles as well. So, let me get this guy going. This right here is one of their AR-10s. Got a adjustment key here. It's using a SLR Rifle Works adjustable gas block, it looks like. Okay. Radiant selector, inbus, magpole backup sights. Also has a, or I'm sorry, radiant selector, radiant charging handle. All nice and clean, ready to get dirty. And it actually comes with some goodness. So right here we have some slip 2K. So it's already out. Get some copious amounts of lubricant. Ambi controls. All right. ADM also sent out this mount right here, which is one of their pretty bomb proof mounts. This, however, is 35 millimeter. So I'm gonna have the opportunity to actually try it with this Atabal X, which is the variable one to 10 low power variable. And right now this is in a Bobro mount. So throughout my time, with this rifle to include with this optic. I'm gonna play around between these two different mounts, swap it out eventually, but we're gonna actually be shooting this rifle today with that optic. This optic right here, I have another mount for it. Don't have out here today. I also, in the sun, don't really wanna just hang out and get this thing mounted and then zeroed because super time consuming. But what Bushnell sent out is one of their forged optics. Bushnell has kind of a tiered system of optics, uh, some of them being kind of down towards the low end, and then on the top end you have Elite, and we have this guy right here, which is kind of towards the top. This is one of their forge optics, basically kind of right below their Elite. A lot of good stuff on paper, looking forward to putting in time with it. This particular one is three to 18. Really nice usable range. Being able to have three on the low end, reach out things relatively close, huge field of view, or crank it up to 18. It's nice. On here, we have this cattail, pretty handy. It sucks getting a brand new optic and then having to immediately go buy a cattail, throw lever for it. But I will be putting in more time with this. Well, you can get this in numerous reticles. The one I chose is actually the mill deploy. I've had to use, or I have used it before, 
when I did a uh, basically built up a rifle using a Savage 110 Tactical Desert 6.5 Creedmoor and that one I actually used was their Nitro line which is below this so actually really looking forward to trying this thing out and seeing what kind of improvements over that one again first vocal plane to pull a mill reticle and I will absolutely be putting in some time with this guy so I don't end up shanking rounds into nothingness. I want to get as stable as possible. Got this Atlas bipod and it will go on here. I have this nice M-lock section. I'm going to throw this guy on since this happens to be the M-lock rail. Get this thing torqued down with fix-it sticks because torque to spec is pretty much always better. All right, throw the Attaball X on here and hopefully get on paper. May or may not be a little ambitious, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I'm on paper from back here at the 100. I got this guy right here, my PMAG. Uh, Gonna load it up. I have some gold metal burger, 185 grain juggernaut open tip match by Federal. Hopefully it should be good. I had actually just pulled this off of my sugar weasel by Q. Had that thing zeroed there. And yes, I recognize totally different ballistics, but comma, I think between here and there, full size Ipsic cardboard, should hopefully be on paper. And if not, I will move forward till I get on paper and then eventually get back here to the 100, give myself a good solid zero with this guy. All right, time to see if this guy's on paper right now. I'll just wait until the dust settles. The suspense. You know what? I'm not sure. Let me go check. All right. I gambled and lost. Welcome to 50 yards. Let's do this. The suspense. Off to the right, a mere six inches at 50 yards. All right, so we are going to go left a lot. Let's start there. So much dust. We're gonna go ahead and come back right some. Went a little too far. And we're gonna go ahead and go up a little bit. This should put us where we need to be. I'll try one shot and then we'll move back to 100. That'll do, let's push back. Back here at the 100, I'm gonna go ahead and start with just three round group and move from there.
Alright, let's go see where we're at. So right here was my first shot that printed on paper, second shot, third shot. Made a couple of different adjustments, obviously through there, moved back to the 100, point of aim right here. Honestly, with at 10 power, this is not a very refined point of aim, but I had those two and that right there. So we're gonna call center probably more up in here. So I'm gonna need to go, honestly, probably just right a couple inches, but to refine or have a more refined point of aim. Throw a couple of these guys up here. All right. Yeah, go right probably about two, two and a half inches and see what we get. Go ahead and try coming right about 0.7 mils. And see where that puts us. Those three rounds at 100, here, here, and here. Point of aim right there. Probably gonna go, I don't know, up 0.2, left 0.1 mils. And probably shoot a group up there and call it good for the day. I'm not gonna sit here and chase a zero, but with that ball X with that uh, Federal, yeah, I'll shoot a five round group up there after making that little correction and see what we get. All right. Got my corrections. Let's do this. This right here is my five shot group back at a hundred. That I called that. Like I shanked the hell out of that. I will say that thing I'm sure is way more capable of this, especially with that ammo and everything. And I will ultimately end up ringing it out. But right now, pretty much zeroed. I'm not gonna chase it. I'm not gonna try any shoot any more groups. It's hot out here, but I'm gonna pull this down, put some steel up and just have fun with it for a minute. I'm back at about, I don't know, a little over 50 yards. We'll call it 55. And have that steel set up. Gonna go ahead and have a little fun with this, shooting support side and whatnot. And yeah, see what we get. All right, let's do this. Ready for all the dust. <sighs> I got all the dust. One miss at 69.24. It's a lot of dust under there. I will say running this thing around my vehicle, definitely a little more recoil than my 
little AR in 5.56. Five, Overall, this is basically my first look. I think this is gonna be a really fun platform to actually get some time behind. As far as accuracy goes, I have a feeling this thing is probably really accurate. I will say there's a lot of amazing stuff on this gun. And then there's, I think probably more or less a nice mil spec trigger. So I think I will probably at some point swap that out to actually see the capabilities of this rifle, my capabilities with it. I'm not saying that wasn't me down there, but I'm saying with a better trigger, I can probably get a better group with this gun. It also has a Surefire War Comp, which is pretty cool, especially since I have a SOCOM 762 Mini. I'll be throwing that can on here, which should be cool. Eventually I'll spend some time, get these irons, get them zeroed. No, I think this is cool, especially this is gonna be my first opportunity to run their ambidextrous lower. A lot of really rad features in there. And this guy, well, we didn't really look at it much. I will spend more time with it. Just glancing through it, definitely I think a step up from that Bushnell Nitro, which it should be. Forge is kind of the next tier up, I believe, from the Nitro series. But yeah, I'm looking forward to putting in more time with all this stuff and eventually bring you guys full reviews on all of it. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.